First, though, Johnny and Leslie are taking a look at a rather unusual painting. Yes, it's about four metres long and about one metre wide, and it's been painted by Class 4D of Moorlands County Primary School near Reading. It took them ten days' jolly hard work as well, because they didn't only paint during their lesson time, but also during their dinner breaks and all their spare time as well. Well, the main characters have been done by the best artist in the class, who is 11-year-old Stuart Hopper. And I think if you take a close look at those characters, you might find that they're rather familiar. Well, they're all uh, members of Dad's army team, and the whole painting, in fact, consists of Class 4D having a Christmas cup party with Captain Mannering there and his men. Uh, but I think the situation is getting a little out of control. Well, there's two little boys here on the left. One is chucking a red jelly across the room, and the other one looks like he's got a red jelly in the face. I think Captain Manning is looking very serious about the whole thing, but uh, Sergeant Wilson here and Private Pike, I think they're more interested in the Christmas presents around the Christmas tree. But then comes the surprise, because this is Mrs. Mannering. Now, nobody's ever seen Mrs. Mannering on television before. Captain Mannering has mentioned her, but nobody actually knew what she looked like. Well, this is what Class 4D and Stuart thought that Mrs. Mannering looked like, and she does look a bit alarmed about all these flying red jellies. <laughs> yeah, it does indeed. A bit further along, someone else who was alarmed. There's uh, Godfrey hiding under the table, looking very abashed. Private Fraser standing well back behind it. A jelly just about to hit, or perhaps just miss Corporal Jones there. This one's already missed him, but it's definitely going to hit Private Walker, who's so busy filling up his glass with his beer there, he hasn't noticed it coming. Well, I think Class 4D and uh, Stuart Hopper deserve many congratulations. In fact, we thought this painting was so good, we decided to ask uh, two members of Dad's army team to come along and inspect it. And here they are, Captain Mannering and Sergeant Wilson. Now, this raises a very interesting point, Wilson. Yes, something we've never considered before. The use of jelly as a weapon in house-clearing operations. Oh, yes, that's an awfully good idea, sir. Yes. It has its problems, though. Very difficult stuff to carry about. Oh, yes, I agree, sir. It uh, wobbles. How, uh, how do you think we'd manage carrying it about in a Wellington boot? What do you mean, the, the jelly in a welly? The reason I mention it, Wilson, is that I happen to know an Irishman who has a spare Wellington boot. His name's Kelly. Oh, I see. You mean if we can carry the, carry the, uh, the jelly in Kelly's welly? <laughs> do you take this seriously? Oh, I am, sir. I take it very seriously indeed. I'd have thought that you could have had a shave before this was drawn. Yes, well, at least I bothered to do up my battle dress blouse, sir. Sure you did. <laughs> well done. Do tell that boy Pike to stand up properly, will you? Yes, of course, sir, yes. Very slumber Yeah. <clears throat> Christmas tree. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Yes, very attractive, sir, yes. Mm. Who's this supposed to be? Well, I think that's supposed to be a, uh, a portrait of your wife, sir. Which one? Your wife, yes. If you look a little bit closer, I think you can see. Good heavens. <laughs> there it is. Yes, Remarkable sir. likeness. Mm. Her hair, I think, is a little bit more yellow than usual. Oh, well, that's camouflage, of course. Ah. It's done, you see, to blend in with the colour of the curtains here. Oh, I see, yes. That's the whole principle of, uh, of camouflage, Wilson, mm -hmm. blending in with the background. Yes, of course, yes, yes. I believe she used lemonade powder to achieve that effect. <laughs> but it's not a woman, my wife. <laughs> Why is Godfrey skulking under the table here? Yeah. You know, I don't agree with that sort of cardis. Well, I don't think he's afraid, sir. He probably doesn't like the flavour of the jelly. Oh, well, that's no excuse. Not very keen on red jelly myself. Personally, I prefer green. Well, if there's one thing I really cannot stand, sir, it's green jelly. <clears throat> you know, sometimes you're very difficult to get on with. What's the matter with green jelly? Nothing in the world nicer than green jelly. Unless it happens to be yellow jelly. Or better still, a large plate full of green and yellow jelly mixed. A lot of cream on top. Well, my favourite is Italian jelly. It's what? Vermicelli jelly. That's typical, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You would like that, that foreign smelly vermicelli jelly? Well, if you don't like it, sir, we could always, uh, we could always put it in the, all of the smelly vermicelli jelly in Kelly's welly, see? And if, um, you see, the trouble is, person, you see, if I eat too much jelly, I get a pain in my... Wilson! Uh, now, look here, I came in good faith to discuss this freeze. Seriously. Now, please take it seriously. I don't know all this rubbish about, all right, about jellies and wellies. Ah, hello. Nice to see it's you. It's a very good painting, though, isn't yes, it? Yes, sir. Oh, Marvellous painting. Really, yes. really, very good indeed. Yeah, yeah. Lovely of your wife, I thought, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I think Class 4D will be very pleased with your comments. Thanks well, very I think much. they should be congratulated. Yes, particularly so Stuart for his importance. <laughs> very good. Very good.